I was born in Reynosa, Mexico. Bogota, Colombia. Somalia. Honduras. Pakistan. I was born in Cucas, which is a small town in northeast Albania. I was born in Dominican Republic. Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Well, I was born in Thailand in a refugee camp called Watan Klobok. Professionally, I work in the medical device industry and I work as a, a PD engineer. I have been working here as a psychiatrist now for almost 10 years. I'm researching uh, colon cancer. I'm a student in the dual degree program, uh, MD and MPH. So I'm an environmental scientist and uh, I'm very interested in water protection. So discovering new phenomena and methodologies that actually will help protect the environment. I made the early discovery, or a discovery of how the brain produces the movement. How, what is the nature of the brain signal? So I was inspired to go into medicine by my grandfather, who was a physician, and uh, I heard all these wonderful stories about him, which may not have been true, but they were inspiring nonetheless. I have always loved robotic stuff. I kind of had a personality for STEM, but I didn't know that. I was a very curious child. I remember as a kid, you know, even back in the camp, he used to take out broken cassette player and just you know, take out the motors and connect it to a battery and watch it spin, really. When I was 16, I started taking chemistry, and I said, this is easy. This is not only easy, this is fun and interesting. I'm currently pursuing a master's in systems engineering at the St. Thomas University. If we really want to uplift our communities, I should be thinking about more of us moving into you know, this, this uh, sector, and that's why our organization right now basically is educating the future workforce, the future STEM workforce. A couple of things that I've learned is that representation matters. When you're in an environment and you're um, you know, very different from everybody else, sometimes it can be a little bit intimidating. Essentially being a role model for young women in STEM in particular, encouraging them to kind of follow your passion. I went into nursing because I care about people. Helping shape a future generation of researchers and professionals. Being part of those conversations in my community, from people from my community, has opened my eyes to the power of diversity. I want people to shift their mindset from being just users of technology to creators of technology. And once you make the shift, then everything is possible. Do not be afraid to be who you are and to bring that to wherever you go. I go in every day and try to make a difference in somebody's life, a positive difference in somebody's life. And that's what I try to leave in my community.